the hair is struggling today, but I think it's going to have to be okay. <laughs> Everyone, and welcome back. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So it's not a vlog style, but it's basically the top five things in London that I would recommend if you're planning to visit. We got back about, I think it's been two or three weeks, which is crazy. It feels like we just got back yesterday. But when we were there, there were a lot of great things that we did, but I kind of narrowed it down to the five top things. Number one is the Victorian Albert Museum. This museum was amazing, and the craziest thing is it's free, which is always A plus for us budget travelers in college. Um, the Obviously, it rains a lot in London, so on a couple of the rainy days, we had to find things to do inside while we waited for it to get nicer out or at least stop raining. So one of the days we spent the morning and mid-morning at Victorian Albert Museum. They have so many things. You could spend days in there and still not see everything. The main thing we did was the fashion wing, I guess, and actually see the history through the clothes and the different eras and the different years. And it was really cool. Um, I would, so I'd recommend if you go, visit the Fashion Wing. And they also had a really good, we got really hungry when we were in there. They have a really good cafe. Like, it's actually really nice. And we had, it was like an avocado toast kind of thing. I know, basic. But it was really good. Um, so, yeah, you could spend an entire day in there, even eat lunch in there. Um, it was just a really nice museum to go to if it's raining, if you just want to go to a museum, and it's free. The second thing on my list is to go to an afternoon tea. Now, when you're going to London, I don't know about you, but the first thing I thought of was, oh my gosh, I have to go to an afternoon tea. I mean, when you're in England, you have to go to a tea, right? So there were a lot of places around the city to go, but I would definitely recommend wherever you go to make reservations at least 24 hours in advance. If you can, earlier is always better. So we ended up going to the Wallace Collection. It's actually a little like house museum thing. And then they have their afternoon tea um, in this, it's like a courtyard, but it's kind of, it's covered. So it's nice, you know, it doesn't matter if it's raining or not. And there's this beautiful pink um, building in the back. And it was actually really good. We made reservations the day before and they had everything set up. We had a table waiting for us and it just felt so English, you know, and it was really cool, really good. And it was a good thing to do. I know there are really expensive ones, but we kind of did more of a budget one and it kind of covered us from lunch into like until dinner. And then we just had a kind of snacky dinner. So it actually kind of saved us money or equal out, um, so you don't have to do something super expensive. I know there are ones for, you know, 60 uh, pounds and stuff like that, but I think ours was uh, 15 pounds per person. You got the entire layout, the teas, the really nice setup, and it was really nice sandwiches, the scones, and the little desserts on top. So it was really nice for 15 pounds. I almost said dollars, pounds, and I would definitely recommend visiting an afternoon tea. So the third place on my list is to visit Camden Market. Um, this is on our list of must-do things before we even left for London. And we actually ended up going twice because it was so cute. And the first time we didn't have enough time to check everything out that we wanted to and actually look around and take our time. So Camden Market has a bunch of little stalls and um, things to buy, things to eat. It's great. We, um, we ended up buying little souvenirs there because they're kind of not, they're not your typical souvenirs. So I end up getting um, this little necklace, a ring. So it's things that, it's not like the typical, you know, London traveler sweatshirt or something like that. They have a lot of cute clothing items you can also purchase and also food. We ended up, we didn't have lunch there or anything, but we ended up getting these little raw vegan cookie dough bowls so good. 10 out of 10 recommend if you're ever there. It's just a little stall by the front. But they have um, things like that, so cookie dough things, fruit stands, smoothie stands, cupcake stands, things like that. But then they also have um, places you can act get actual meals. So there's little pizza places, burgers, that kind of thing. 
So you can spend a long time in this market, um, and you don't have to spend that much money. Um, honestly, just going and looking around is totally worth it. So the fourth thing I would definitely recommend visiting while you're in London is Buckingham Palace, specifically the tours that they have in the summer. I think it's about five or six weeks they only have these tours, and that's because the Queen is away in Scotland for the summer. So if you're there for the tour, I would definitely recommend doing that and going inside Buckingham Palace. But if you're not there during the tour times, I would definitely still recommend visiting, taking pictures, seeing changes of the guards, doing that whole thing. Um, but these tours, you know, I think we went middle of the day. They were still busy even when you booked tickets in advance. So definitely book tickets in advance. I think I did it about a week before. It's really easy, all online. You can just print your tickets out and bring them with you. Um, this is one of my favorite things we did on the whole trip. Uh, it was just so cool to actually be able to go in there. And it's like a living museum. It's crazy. It's beautiful like a museum, but then you just realize people live and work in here. It's crazy. They had these really nice audio tours that you could just put ear, um, earphones on and you could just play them at your own pace when, as you went from room to room. Um, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, I would definitely recommend going inside and visiting if you have that chance. So number five is to visit Cambridge for a day. I know it's not technically in London, but we took a train for the day out to Cambridge from the King's Cross train station, which was about a half mile walk from our hostel. Really nice, really easy. You just bought your ticket, put it right in, and just waited for the train. Plenty of spots to sit. It was really, really easy, surprisingly easy. So I think it took us about an hour to get there on the train from London. And it was definitely worth it. It was raining most of the day, but even so, it was amazing. And then it got sunnier later. We got to take some amazing pictures outside. The whole town is beautiful because it's made up of all these different colleges within the university. And all of them are great, but some you have to pay for to get in. Those are the bigger, more popular ones. But... Us college kids on a budget, we did not do any of the ones that you had to pay for. We just went to the free ones, and they were still incredibly beautiful. So I would definitely recommend just going to the free ones. I think Emmanuel College was one of the ones that we ended up going to at the end of our little visit, and that was one of my favorites, absolutely free. So just honestly, the best thing to do in Cambridge is to walk around the colleges take beautiful pictures, they're, they're just gorgeous, and I can't believe people actually go to school there, it's like a museum. Um, take some time, don't rush, just walk around. They have a bunch of little shops and restaurants, coffee shops, cafes, and they have a little market in the middle that's, um, it's outside but it's covered, so if it's raining it's okay. Alright, so that wraps up my five best things to do in London. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I know before I went on trips, I always watched tons of YouTube videos, seeing what people recommended, so I thought I'd help everyone else out that's going there in the future, or wants to go there in the future, and see what I recommend. Um, if you have any other suggestions and places to go, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.